In this video, we'll see how to create a Linux server in the cloud using resources provided by systemongrid.com. So just go to systemongrid.com, and this should be the landing page that you come to. You'll go ahead and go through the sign-up process, which I've already done. It will prompt you for a credit card there. Uh, that's just to make sure you don't make hundreds of different accounts uh, just using different credentials. You've got to be tied to your account has to be tied to a credit card. And they will verify that the card is an active card by doing a small charge to it uh, at some point in the first few days of your server being live. Um, but let's take a look at why we're using this particular environment. Let's take a look at the pricing. So primarily for students, this is a great benefit. So one year free, and these machines are decent. One CPU, a gigabyte of memory, and uh, 10 gigabytes of SSD storage so even if we look to the paid plans you know if we pay the five dollars and fifty cents a month it's that same specification with a little more storage and then it goes up from there but the free tier will be fine for what we're doing in this class so go ahead and get yourself signed up logged in and then you should be ready to create your first what they call an orbit but it's just going to be an instance of a Linux virtual machine running in the cloud. So I'll click on Create Orbit, and you'll notice that when we arrive here, it takes us to the paid platform. Of course, they're trying to make money, but they're offering this free service to get us used to it. So we'll click over here on Free Tier, and then we should be able to choose the operating system that we're interested in. For this class, we'll choose Ubuntu, and we'll go with the most recent distribution. Now we have options for your SSH key or password for authentication. For most of what we do in class, we'll want to use SSH key, but let's set up a password now and we'll set up the SSH key later. So I'm just going to put in a temporary password. It'll prompt me to change this password when I first log in. For a host name, I'm going to give it IS566 IS hyphen your first name hyphen your last name and I'll leave the description blank we should be ready to create that so it's giving us some information about how we're gonna log in you'll notice that we didn't specify a username because the username is going to default to Ubuntu and we will use the IP address that um, they'll give us here shortly so we'll go ahead and say OK, and it should begin creating that server for us. And that will take about a minute, maybe two minutes to do. All right, so for me that took just under a minute and a half. And here's then the landing page for this instance of my server. So it's up and running. I've got an IP address listed here. That's what I'm going to use to connect. But one of the nice things that System on Grid provides is it gives us this console right here. So just right here in the web browser, we can open up a console to this machine. So it's prompting me for my username, which is Ubuntu. Try that again. And now for my password. And here it's prompting me to change that password. So here it's telling us it wants the current password. It's going through a standard passwords change process. So I got to type in my current password again. And now we're entering the new password. This is the one that we're going to stick around with. And retype it. And now I'm here. So we can do normal Linuxy things here. Do a list, no files here, ask what the present working directory is, and I see I'm in home Ubuntu here. And that really is all there is to setting up a Linux server in the cloud using systemongrid.com.